Hi. What's up, guys? Did you miss me? You missed me. It's your boy Joe from Innovative Electronics. I know I've been away for a little while, but I've definitely been a busy guy. Been working on some new stuff for the Trotter Mag Wheel. Been working with Makers PEV to bring VESC to the Trotter Mag Wheel. So what this means is that we're looking to do a direct swap controller into the existing mag wheel. So here's where I've gotten so far. Next step hopefully accomplished. Now getting it set up to where the original trotter foot pads will work with it. <laughs> Just got to get it to reverse the values in the VESC package because I can only get it to have voltage all the time and when activated it takes the voltage away. So the ADC value needs to be set at zero to activate instead of the 3.3 I need it to flip and then this is going to work. So once I actually tested it out and made sure that the Fokker was going to work with the Trotter hard hardware, the next step is going to be to make the plug and play clip so that this is just a direct swap plugs into the existing components. Check it out. So one of the first things I did is take this clip for the little Fokker and we're hardwiring it into this clip that attaches to the hall sensors on the mag wheel. And I've gotten this far. It's doing the last one now. Smaller wire like this, I find it's easier to use a lighter to strip it. And this is the temp sensor wire, which the Trotter hub does not have a temperature sensor, so I just shortened that and crimped the end so there's nothing exposed. And this piece is done. This first one here is for a secondary other than the ADC input, and this is for the foot sensor. This is just a ground that's going to be hooked to a different part of the board for the foot sensor, and then the ADCs are going to go to here. And this is for the front trotter foot pad. So both ABC sensors are going to go to the same spot on this plug and that's going to make it so that the front pad is the one that activates the mag wheel. Basically setting it up as a posi. And I could run both of them. This is going to be much easier. Now we can plug this directly into the front trotter sensor pad. This will go into the ADC on the little Fokker and this will go to another one just for the ground. So another thing is that the power button on the trotter is a momentary press button. It doesn't latch. So that is one thing for this switch is that we'll have to swap out a power button. make this little fucker 
work with the trotter mag wheel and just be a direct swap. First I had to swap the XT60 for just a T connector because that's what all the uh, trotters come with. The phase wires are all the same and it doesn't matter the order because this will map them itself. I had to make this piece which clips right into the front trotter sensor pad also plugs into the ADC and then there's also a separate one there for a separate ground. This is the hall sensor connector that normally clips into the trotter which I have connected through to this which connects into the the hall the hall port right here and then I had to wire up a latching power switch unlike the momentary normally open that the trotter comes with so with these connectors that I've made should be able to install this controller in here I won't have lights and it will be posi only activated on the front pad but that's how I want it to run anyway so I'll keep you guys updated also look into work towards the next generation of mag wheel using the little Fokker as the base controller so look for that coming soon in the future some more news on that